Hello everybody and welcome back to another World of Tanks console edition video. We're on the PlayStation today, taking out the Tiger Hammer. Uh, I want to bring you guys a video of the Kunern and Jagdpanzer yet, but I've been... I've not had an amazing game in here. I've had a few okay ones, but they didn't really feel worth uh, showcasing, so... I'll try and get one up within a couple of days if you're curious of seeing that. If you want the um, too long didn't read review of the is the Kanern and Jagdpanzer bundle worth it? It's not worth it. Um, it's very very expensive. The tank is okay. It's there's nothing really amazing about it. Um, it's it's only really worth paying that huge amount of money for the bundle if you're really really into collecting rare tanks. That's the only reason I'd say for getting it. Or if you're a um, some mug of a youtuber who wants to buy it to uh to do some videos on it <laughs> but yeah so that's that um the hammer on the other hand is bloody great but mostly because it's just a tiger really and the tiger's bloody great so um so we've got some more tiger gameplay hopefully yeah, there we go nice little shot in the m6 so we'll probably let me know what you guys think so um there's probably going to be quite a lot of videos of this because there's the drop the hammer up which is really cool where you get a little bit of um you get sort of a random prize from a selection of different prizes every time you win, which is very cool. And you also get double crew XP every game. So um, it's a really good, really good ops on that. So I'm going to be playing it loads, as well as the fact that I love the Tiger. And I could do with grinding out silver on PS4. So I'm going to be playing the Tiger a lot, which means I'm going to be getting a lot of decent replays. Uh, so if you guys are happy with watching a bunch of Tiger Hammer replays, then uh, let me know. It won't be the only thing on the channel, but... um. But there might be quite a few of them coming up over the next sort of, what, 10, 15 days that the ops are on. Uh, let me know what you think about that. If you're a bit bored of seeing the same tank over and over, let me know in the comments. If you don't mind, as long as they're, like, decent games, then um, then let me know as well. It'd be interesting to to hear. So, um, we can do something a little bit different as well today. Because I'm going to have so many of these replays, I'm going to... We're going to do a commentary on this first game. We've got two games to bring you today. Both very close games. Or close-ish. Um, and but I'm just going to do a commentary on the first one, and then the second one's going to play afterwards. I'll like I'll say bye, and I'll let it play afterwards, and you can just watch the pure replay without me wittering on over the top of it. And you guys can see if you dig that. Um, but yeah, again, let me know what you think about that. If you think it works, let me know. If you think you'd rather just hear me keep talking about shooting them tanks, then uh, then that's fine as well. You know, let me know. Feedback's good. We do we do listen. Anyway, the battle at hand. I'll get me, uh, let me drop the hammer spreadsheet out. I can tell you, so the drop the hammer rewards. I'm just, sorry, just trying to hit the CDC here. You see I've loaded up HE, trying to get hit him. Don't really know where these shots are going. And get a little bit unlucky to miss all of those. But then he nicely uh, turns around and gives me that lovely little shot into his back. Uh, now this is a spot you might have seen. If you've watched a lot of our replays, you've probably seen me go here all the time on red share and I kind of always go here almost I think pretty much unless I'm in a top tier heavy and the east flank looks weak then I'll go over there maybe something that's good hold down and they've got no artillery but but generally I like to go in the middle here and as well as it giving you really good lines of sight on loads of different areas of the battlefield it's also good for repositioning I don't come here because I want to camp flag the whole game although it doesn't work too badly <laughs> I come here because it's very easy to reposition to reinforce uh, areas that need reinforcing, as you'll see as the battle develops. So we're a tier 8 battle. Here we are trying to chip away at this Tiger 2. We've not actually got spotted at all yet, I don't think, unless I um, just didn't notice while I was chatting away. So you see we managed to track the Tiger in place there, so we'll leave the aiming reticule exactly where we're aiming and just keep firing away <laughs> until, uh, until those ribbons stop. There we go, he's dead. Someone finished him off, and we got the tracking bonus as well. So we're um, we're one up on the scores at the moment, but it's pretty tight. We've got a couple of heavies moving down the western flank. Looks like we're probably going to lose out on the east. You can just hear me spamming RB here, <laughs> the uh, auto aim. I'm not sure why I've continued to spam it there. That was uh, maybe going a bit tiger crazy, but yeah, it's useful because if he had popped out and shown himself for a sec, it would have locked on straight away. So it's a nice quick way to know if people have uh, moved out of cover. Here you go. So that was a quick auto aim there, and then aim in manually. Oh, there we go, right, prioritise the 152 because he's got a big dirty gun that I don't want to get shot by. And he's, uh, and he's tracked, he's on low health. So there we go, get him out of the game. We've got T32 over there, and someone else, what is he, a KV-85. So not a huge threat from the KV-85, T32, a bit more dangerous. And they make it 8 all. 
on the scoreboards. There we go, KV85. Oh, unlucky. Could have been. So, we've lost the eastern flank now. And now that those guys are either going to be cresting that hill or they're going to be coming round up in the sort of B8 area where they come round the corner of that that hilly area. I want to just back off a bit. I don't want to be just sat right in the open. Uh, I want a nice easy route to retreat. Preferably I want to be able to shoot them without getting spotted straight away or at least hit them, hit them before they spot me and then be able to back off. So that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. I'm just trying to reposition to put a little bit more distance between me and them. I'm on full hit points still. So I feel um, I feel pretty confident that that I can play a big role. I mean, I've done a decent amount of damage so far, but I feel confident I can play a big role in um, in helping out my team here. Especially having this many hit points left this late in the battlefield with a good gun like the Tiger puts you, makes you very dangerous indeed. So we go with KV 85s out of the game, puts us one tank in the lead. But our team is getting a little, little bit surrounded. We're kind of all in the middle here. We've got one heavy over on. Uh, in that sort of east, that guy down there, yeah. But uh, but the rest of us are all bunched up on the middle here, which puts a little bit of risk getting surrounded. There's a tiger right in the distance. I'm not sure that's a fully upgraded tiger. I think that's why he's hiding uh, quite a lot in this battlefield, in this battle. So we just back off to get unspotted. There's no while we do have a lot of hit points. There's no point just throwing away hit points for me to dive out and throw a shot into that T32. Um, I might as well try and save as many hit points as I can. Because you never know what you might need later in the battle. When you get down to a one on one and you've got not enough hit points left to take a shot, then you'd be gutted that you uh, that you ate a lazy shot earlier in the game. So KV2 over there, just keep an eye on him. Obviously very dangerous. He could put a big hit into me, but he seems to be, whenever he's getting spotted, he's just backing straight off. So I'm keeping an eye on him, but try not to get too distracted by him because he seems to be, he's playing, playing pretty conservatively. There we go. So we don't want to. Uh, we're keeping over here. We keep there. We go keeping our gun pointed over there where we think the guys might actually pop up. Especially that T32. He's the big danger at the moment. KV2 definitely dangerous, but he's playing very passively. Says the T32. And we are now a tank down. It is 4v5 situation. But we've got full hit points. So if you if you missed the previous video where I ran over the stats of the Tiger Hammer, it's uh, the. The basics is it's basically the same as a Tiger. It's got a weaker engine. It's got a slightly less powerful engine, so it's a little bit slower. It has 50 more hit points, and it's uh, I think its turret traverse is a tiny bit slower, and its track traverse is made a bit slower by the fact that it has a weaker engine. So there you go, the ARL44 and the KV2. I think just took it. Oh no, sorry, the, it was a different guy shot the uh, KV2, but KV2 took someone out, and then one of our guys took the KV2 out in return. So yeah, it's got a little. It's a little bit slower on the the turret and the track reverse. It's a little bit slower power overall. There we go. Just switching up to prem rounds. So we try and get this dangerous T32 out of the game. Uh, but otherwise, it's basically a Tiger. The gun stats are pretty much identical. I think there's a tiny variance in accuracy, but it's really negligible. There we go. Nice shot to the weak frontal under armor of the T32, and we eat our first shot of the battle. But the T32 is a one shot, so feeling pretty good about this. I've been really enjoying it. Like I said, I've been as well as the fact the ops are good. I just really love driving the Tiger. I've just driven it on PS4 to get my three marks in it, and um, and it's just a really fun tank to play. I can see myself grinding out a whole bunch of silver with this because it's just good fun. Obviously, the double crew XP helps that uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to be using that to grind out some of my crews. I've just got my, I think my sixth skill on this crew on Rupert Assman. So we just unlocked that, which is my main, main crew for my Road to Tier 10 series. And now now I've got the sixth skill unlocked on that. I've decided to drop that crew out of here and I'm going to, this is still with the good crew by the way, but um, from now on, ah, here we go, here's a nice little shot on the T32. So what we've done here, sorry, while I was wittering on about uh, me loving the Tiger, I decided to remove myself from that central area because they knew where we all were and I didn't really want to get surrounded so I decided to pull out I felt like I could get over here without getting spotted unless the T32 spotted me I mean he did see me over here so they know roughly where I am now but but we've managed to break out a little bit which is great and there's we know there's one TD over there that my TD friend has spotted out 
And there's the tiger that we saw earlier. So we'll aim in. Fire a fraction of a second early and it goes underneath. Silly mistake. And a little bit of trolley RNG. But there we go. Put a nice shot onto him. And he moves down into cover. So while that's been going on, my TD friend has killed the other TD. So we are now a two on two. We've got 18 damaging shots, three kills. And quite a bit of assisted as well. And I'm pretty sure, so the two TDs were in a platoon, so I'm fairly sure they're going to be near each other. And there we go, there's the other one in the middle. So now we know where both of them are. We know the tiger's over here somewhere, and we know that guy's down there. So if I move myself over here, that tiger didn't really look like he... He then didn't know, really know what he's doing too much, or he's... N I think he's maybe not fully upgraded. There he is. Maybe a bit of both. Um... <laughs> But uh, I felt pretty confident I could get over here and take on the uh, the Tiger. And then we can worry about dealing with the TD separately. So there we go. Tiger is down. And it is now a 2v1. So we just move around a bit. We know where we last saw this TD. So we just want to move around to some sort of flank position. There he is. I know I can eat probably at least two, maybe even three hits from him. There we go. And he's taken down very comfortably. No risk involved. <clears throat> so there we go. Not too shabby at all. We've got 120 grand in silver. Four and a half K damage. That's the most damage I've done in the hammer so far. And 1k assisted. There we go. We've got bonus 2,000 from our Drop the Hammer op. Just um, quickly run down what I've got from my Drop the Hammer op so far. I've had 2,000 silver. I've had three times. A small and f a small repair and a f small first aid kit I've had once. You get them both together. A uh, large repair kit I've had five times. Large first aid kit I've had three times. And times three XP I've had four times. I still haven't had times five crew XP and one day premium. I haven't had a tool yet. So I get the feeling those ones are a lot rarer. Maybe the small small repairs and meds are, are rare as well. But yeah, so it feels like they're not an equal balance. I mean, it's not. I've only won about 15, 20 games, so it's not uh, scientific by a long way. But it feels like those two, the Day Prem and the Times 5 Crew XP, might be um, a bit rarer to get than the other ones. Well, I know I said I wasn't going to talk over the second one, but I was enjoying commentating on that first one, so, uh, so I'm going to talk over this one as well. But uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit less. This was quite a fun battle I had uh, yesterday on Serene Coast, a map that I'm still getting my head around. We don't actually really travel very far for, for most of this battle, so I don't know, maybe it's not super exciting. It's a close battle, though. I think it's, um, I think it's worth watching. And it turned out to be quite a nice position. Ooh, there we go. Little look. Spotted right at the beginning. Put a nice hit into him. So, yes. I mean, so far on Serene Coast, my... I wish I'd hit that shot there. That would have helped my team a lot. Unfortunately, he lives to looks another day. Yeah, it felt like... Um, this is the sort of area I go quite a lot on Serene Coast from this spawn. There's this big, long corridor down here to shoot down. Um, so I thought I'd try that out. I haven't played around too much on the islands. So I thought I'd just go here. It felt like a good kind of snipey spot. And I've got a nice little house I can kind of park myself next to. And uh, and see how I get on with that. You can see all their snipers at the back here. I'm trying to line one up for a blind fire. And we actually managed to hit one. Which I was pretty chuffed with there. But um, didn't manage to do any damage. I think I just tracked whoever was, whoever was parked there. We'll fire one for luck. See if he's still there. But no dice. Here we go, here's an enemy tiger right out in the open. And this is what happens if you position yourself somewhere that's not right next to some hard cover. He's going to take a lot of shots. He's going to take a serious beating while he tries to reverse himself out of... Uh, away from being spotted. And this is exactly the reason why I'm parked right next to this house, because even though I'm right out in the open at the moment, all I have to do is reverse around the corner. There we go, he's blind fired back at me, because I've just fired him a whole bunch. By one shot, I decide to back off because he's now blind firing that corner. There we go, and he misses a shot. A little bit unlucky as it drops low on the Chiri there. If you see what I mean, the difference there between being parked in the open and being parked by a house. I took one hit, round the corner, gone. <laughs> he took, what, five? Five or six hits, and most of his health gone there. 
not having a good time. So, take a look at the scores at this point. We are 5-2 down. It's not going great. I think it gets even worse than that. <laughs> Go enemy ELC. Trying to get the shot. Oh, and just twitch horribly and miss that shot. Don't know what happened there. So keep an eye on that Chi Re. He's very weakly armoured. And he's the furthest round at trying a little flank manoeuvre. So we want to try and get him out of the game. But he's uh, he's being pretty cautious now. Initially he was he was a little bit exposed. But now he's just been chilling behind that rock pretty well. Our team is getting hammered pretty solidly over on the islands. There we go. They have actually gone. And I can see the artillery beginning to leg it very wisely. Ah, oh, there's SU-152. Big target to go for. Can't really tell if he's got the big gun from here, but it's always better to be safe. And sorry. Ah, there's the tiger we're hitting earlier. Nice. Nice. Smash taken down. Nice moving shot on him. Try and reduce the pressure a bit. So we were 4-7. I think a minute ago we were 3-7 down. I think that was the uh, the scores. So it's not been going great. We're starting to get surrounded, and they're pushing in pretty close. There's a VK. 36H, one of my favorite tanks in the game. Spin ourselves round so we're in a bit more of a side scraping position. And hop out and give him a shot. But there is a Tiger P hitting us from somewhere. Where is the Tiger P? And a T20. Not sure where the Tiger P is. I know the T20 is that guy in the cap circle to my left. You see a sec. There we go. VK is taken down. There's the T20. Just gets blown up by someone on my team. And then the Hummel and the T25 to pick up two quick kills. And it's suddenly 610 some rapid fire damage there now I'm still not sure where that Tiger P was shooting me from I'm guessing it was one of the guys who came round from the islands because I think they're the only ones who would have a line of sight there's the SU we've got to go for him even though I'm exposed track him okay it's unwise to drive out around a corner like this but I want to get this guy dead it's that stage of the game there we go get him ah oh, but the GW Panther manages to finally hit me with some splash around the corner and we start getting pummeled from every direction there's the Chi Re out in the open. Keep in mind this stage, full health Chi Re, 301 health on the Tiger. There we go, we get one shot on him. And keep an eye on how that Chi Re gets on. There we go, we've got Yag Panther behind us, managed to back up. He hasn't hit us. Chi Re bounces somehow on my side. Move forward. Bang, through the truck. Taking out the Yag Panther and unsurrounding myself. And it is only 9 12 on the scores now. We're bouncing a whole bunch of shots from this fairly wildly shooting Chi Re. There he is. Still with quite a lot of health, but we've still got our 301 valuable hit points. But three versus five, two artilleries. It's not looking too great, but it's looking it's looking doable. Oh, right, there's the Chi Re. He misses one, he hits one, hits another, and then he's reloading. Right, got a hammer and we got him to half health. He decides to sit there where I can hit him again. Thank you very much. We are on 30 health now. Come on, just give me, what, one more shot? Maybe two more shots? Not sure. This guy really, really mucked up what he was doing. Artillery still throwing them in. I think he's trying to splash me around that corner. Just trying to land one more shot. There we go. Oh, so low. He's on a one tree. He's coming up. He's reloaded. He's coming up to shoot. We just managed to take him down. And the artillery splashed me from around the corner. He either splashed me from around the corner or he had probably moved, maybe moved around onto the islands and got a better angle on me and I was, I was no longer hidden. But sadly, that uh, that had a big impact because as much as I tried to, uh, to carry that game, we end up with a KV-3 and I think it's a T-43 maybe on our team versus the IS and two artillery. And you might think that's pretty good for... Uh, Artillery doesn't really count for much when you've got two tanks versus the IS, but um, unfortunately, they don't really do very well. Uh, the T-43 incredibly just sits here. At, I thought he'd disconnected for a while, but then he fired. He just sits here. I've never seen t someone play less RT safe than, than this guy, <laughs> except for maybe just driving straight in front of their cannon at point blank and, uh, and parking up, but... Yeah, you just I was just sitting there like, how? It's lucky as hell there. And still doesn't even think about moving. None of them think about flanking the guy. And there we go. It was inevitable that was going to happen. And then a 1v1 with this KV-3 in the IS. Doesn't really seem likely either. Would be doable for a tank in that position, but you can kind of tell by how, how he's playing that 
This guy isn't going to carry the game. And there we go. Good night, Vienna, for QWERTY Mo 504. So there we go, a close battle. We didn't manage to win, but we had another solid game. So we'll have a quick look at the, the post-battle results. 4,319 damage, nice amount of silver, 100k on a loss, very respectable, and 3,000 XP even on the loss, which is very nice indeed. More base XP and damage than anyone on the winning team. So I can walk away with my head held high or something like that. Anyway, well, thank you for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that slightly slapdash video. I wasn't going to comment on the second one, but, you know... We did it anyway. Why not? Let's go crazy. It's Monday. Nice one. All right, guys. Well, I uh, hopefully enjoyed that. If you did, please think about hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you're not already. And let me know what you thought about in the video in the comments. All right. Nice one. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.